Hey YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. My voice is cracking. I don't know what's up. I've been talking too much lately, but I just wanted to start out and show you my beautiful new Valentino bag. I have her all loaded up, and I never did show you this Dior picture that I made out of a Dior gift bag. I basically just cut the gift bag up and put it in a frame, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. The Dior gift bags have a lot of texture to them and you get them with makeup purchases and I just love that. I have it sitting on the floor of my closet generally kind of propped up against some things that I kind of want to cover up. I have lots of things in my closet and so that just sort of helps beautify it in my opinion. But I did want to show you I am able to fit all of my things in this beautiful Valentino bag. I didn't have to downsize at all. In fact, I added a card holder into it because I don't have an organizer, at least not yet. And so I added a card holder for organization purposes and I could still fit my phone in there. And I am just letting her. She hasn't went out yet, but she's ready to go. I guess I do need to or should spray her with Colonel Carbon Pro, at least on the back side before I do anything, but I haven't done that yet. And my dogs are barking, great. I think they've stopped. So I thought today I would do a closet tour because I did tell you that my collection has changed dramatically over the last month or two. It has went from around 125 bags down to around 90. And I have sold many bags Pretty much, I think all of them were contemporary handbags such as Coach and Tory Burch and Longchamp. And I have bought several new high-end bags, but much less than I sold since high-end bags cost more. So I am diversifying and I am selling things that I had collected multiples of that I still like, but I decided just to keep maybe a couple of them instead of keeping all of the ones that I had. And I guess in some cases I sold all of them, but I think for the most part, the ones where I completely eliminated them from my collection, like the Coach Cassie, the regular size one, it's been a while since that happened. And so in the last couple months, I've really just been curating and keeping a few of the bags where I collected so many. The exception to that would be Cassie 19 bags and Longchamp Extra Small. I still have six and eight of those bags respectively. So let's go ahead and check everything out. I wanna show you first my roses here from Rose Forever, and then I have the Coach Cali bags from Cave Facet Collaboration. And I have two of those. I did have three, but I did just sell one. That will probably be the only cave piece that I sell. I love the artwork, but the one I sold, and I can pop a picture of it while I'm talking, it is very similar in a color palette to not only this cave facet bag, this troop chain shoulder bag, but also another one that I'll show you just here in a minute. But as you can see, I've got my Rodarte coach bag with the leather sequins, a bag by Teddy Blake, and then the Cafe Troop shoulder bag. And moving over here, these colors don't exactly match, but I've got my beautiful Pillow Madison in wine and coral, and then my new Valentino medium rock stud in the color pink Borealis. And I have sold my other Pillow Madisons. I decided I did not like dark hardware. It's just something that I worry about. And so I let those go as well as my fluffy one, which is so luxurious, but I just, I don't know, maybe it's because it's spring. I was just ready for something different. And as far as my field tote collection goes, I have two left. I have this one here, which is the upwoven field tote in ivory. And as you can see, there's another beautiful rose forever bouquet. This is a domed bouquet, and I can't remember the name of the color, but the word pink was definitely in it. And the little DIY Chanel makeup bag, which I have never carried, but I think it is pretty. Moving upwards, you'll see the other feel tote that made the cut. It is the truffle rust color combination, and I do have the matching strap for that, as well as the strap that came with that bag. You've got two studio bags by Coach and Dove Gray, and 
chalk. I love those bags. Those are amazing, just like the Pillow Madison. And then you have another Teddy Blake bag, and I think the color on that was light blue. I think those are just really pretty bags. Moving on, you have my Coach Marley collection. I don't think I'll ever let these go. They are just little works of art, I guess you could say. And in the center, I have a Palen Numero Un Nano, I believe, in the color lilac. And here's the other Cave Facet piece that I have that's in a similar color palette to the Cali that I sold. Hiding in the corner there is a Soft Tabby Hobo in the Canyon color block. And then moving upwards, I have my Coach Camera bags. I have four of them. I did have more. That's one of the styles that I've curated. I sold my Azure and my Taupe ones. And I would sell watermelon if anybody wants it for $125. Just let me know. It comes with two straps. But for now, I'm keeping it. I don't want to sell it for less than that. And then here are my Cassie 19s. I don't plan to let any of these go. I have straps and accessories for all of them. And I just love the functionality of this little bag. In the center there, you'll see a little K facet accordion card holder. And again, love all of the pieces from that collection. I don't generally consider tote bags, which in the corner there, you can see a Tory Burch Perry tote in metallic silver. As part of my handbag collection, I, I see those as really just a functional bag that I only use on vacation, but there, there's one of them. I also have a gold one that I can show you here in a minute. Moving on to long shop, I have seven of my bags right there. I guess I was thinking I had eight total, but I think I actually have nine long shop extra small bags. And I think my collection is pretty stable now. There is possibility I might let one of those go. Now, with regards to my Marc Jacobs, the tote bag minis, you are all aware if you are on my YouTube community page or my Instagram that I have sold one of those, which is the Orchid Haze. But I do have these three and I have both the rose dust on the left as well as the argan oil in the middle listed for sale for $335. And if they sell great, if they don't, I'll keep them. The leather on these bags is amazing in my opinion. I just don't reach for a bag that big hardly ever. So I plan on keeping the cement and selling the other two unless they don't sell for $335, which is what I paid for them. So I just will keep them if they don't sell for that. And I think that's a good price because now retails $395 plus tax, so about $422. Next, I have my Coach Tally bags. They are in papaya, chalk, and black. I love those bags and I have so many straps that go with those bags that I don't think I'll part with them. On top of that, you can see they coordinate with the colors of my camera bags and I love that because I can use those web straps interchangeably. Way up top there, I have my Tory Burch Kira top handle bags in the black striped raffia, the beeswax and the denim. Love those bags. They are keepers. They are very luxurious. I enjoy using them when I do. My arm is getting tired, so I have four Tory Burch Willow bags left. Up top there, I've got toasted pecan. I believe the middle's new cream and the other side is blue wood or pancake. I have two Coach Soft Tabbies. I have another one on the way. I can't wait to show you. And in the middle is an older style of the Tory Burch Britain, which is an outlet bag in the small size. Two more Longchamp Extra Smalls. I'm considering letting this taupe Willow bag go because I do have so many beautiful taupe bags. It's hard because the Willa collection has my heart. It's a goat skin bag. It feels amazing. But if anybody's interested in that one, reach out to me. I am willing to sell her and then apply those funds to something else. Then I have my two Tory Burch Kira bags in Arctic and the Ruched Black Lambskin with a Coach Outlet bag in the middle and that is in the paper straw with the washed green leather. And I think those are all just so beautiful. And I don't have anything against outlet bags. You just have to look for the quality because some of them have it and some of them not so much. Let's move into the piece de la resistance, which is my luxury handbag cabinet. We're gonna start down here at the bottom. 
We have a Saint Laurent Lulu in the back and the dark beige. My new Louis Vuitton favorite. My new to me replaced Pochette Accessoire. And Joshi, I'm still going to say Accessoire. I like saying that. So I'm not saying accessories or accessories. It's Accessoire with the mini Pochette. And then I've got the Lulu small size in the earth gray. Moving upwards is my collage bags by Saint Laurent. And I have those in Sharon Blue, Bordeaux Lesion, and Seaweed. My multi pochette accessoire. My Prada Reedition in a gray, which I cannot currently remember the name of. Behind that, my Louis Vuitton balloon bag with a cute little pouch from the multi pochette accessoire attached to it. Next shelf, I have my beautiful Saint Laurent Lulu puffer bags in a size small in the dark honey. And I'm blanking on the name of that color right there in the Gucci Marmot camera bag in red. Next, I have my Cameo Beige Prada Reedition, along with some accessories. I can say accessories when I'm not talking about the pochette accessories or accessoires. I've got the Prada Reedition little pouch and behind it, this zippy wallet from the Blossom collection and my beautiful Berry MM with a dress up your purse, Vaquetta chunky chain. Those are still available and I've got a code for dress up your purse that'll save you some money. Then I got my only Speedy 25. I've sold the other two that I had, I, I really like the weatherproof speedy option the best. And the K Facet card holder, the Saint Laurent card holder, and that is in the color natural and also a key clay by Louis Vuitton or a key key, as many people will say. Next shelf, again, another piece of a Prada Reedition, a Gucci Marmont in porcelain rose. Here is another Gucci Marmont in the color blue gray, at least according to the Matches Fashion website. An opium red small Lulu puffer, black Prada Edition, and a light natural toy Lulu back in the back, as well as another Prada Edition pouch that I don't use. So this is the last shelf. I guess this one and the one right above it. I can't remember the name of the color of that Saint Laurent small Lulu. I want to say it is deep sea or marine green or something like that. The middle, I've got the Lou camera bag in black with the antique hardware, the Odeon PM in Damier Ben with a chain that I purchased separately from the multi pochette accessoire. And then up top, my Alma BBs. I've got the Empreinte in the middle, the Indigo, and then finally the beautiful Rose Ballerine. So that is the designer cabinet. Back to starting position. So what have I sold? I have sold pillow Madisons. I have sold field totes. I still have some of both of those. I've sold the soft pebble camera bag. I still have some of those. I have sold Cassie 19s. I still have some of those. I have sold all of my Coach Cassie regular size bags. I have sold Longchamp Extra Small, but I still have nine of those. I've sold a Marc Jacobs tote. I still have three of those. I have sold a tally bag in the red orange color by Coach, but I still have three of those. I have sold Tory Burch Kira bags. I still have two of those. I have sold Tory Burch Willa bags. I still have four of those. I have sold Coach Soft Tabby bags. I still have two of those and I have one on the way. And what else? I have not sold any luxury bags recently. I have sold a Coach Cali by K Facet, and that one was hard, but like I said, I have two other bags with almost the same print, which is why I sold that one. And I think that's about it as far as what I have sold in the somewhat recent future. I did tell you that I would sneak in my other Tory Burch Perry Tote in the metallic gold. I use that when I travel. And then in that Boggs bag, I've never used that. It's really only for storage, but 
in that bag, I have all of my Longchamp totes and backpacks. So I have two totes, black and the taupe. And then I have a backpack and I don't remember the color of Here that. Here are about half of my straps and I just hang those directly from this shelf. Here are about half of my straps on the other side and I hang those from my shelves. You can kind of see they're there on the side. So as far as my Longchamp bags, I have sold a tote as well, but I think I'm pretty happy keeping what I have at this point, except for I might sell one more of my extra small bags. We'll see. I am enjoying buying and selling. I love to find new things and to find new things, sometimes you need to get rid of the things you have because you get too much and it's overwhelming. I have found that I have started using what I have way more now that there is less of it because I have truly picked my very favorites of each style to keep. And in some cases, I have eliminated the style altogether, but that is a rare occurrence, like with the full-size Coach Cassie. Most of the time, if I collect a whole lot of one bag, I do end up keeping at least a few of them in the end. I think I will keep one Marc Jacobs the tote bag. I think I will keep all of the ones that I have left. I think I'll keep at least one or two of. Before I started my YouTube channel, I had many, many, many Coach Rogue bags, and I sold all of those. And the last four to go were the Rogue shoulder bags, and so that's one that I forgot to mention. Those are no longer in my collection, and it's more of a style thing. I just moved on from the style. The bags are amazingly made. They're lightweight. They, they were great bags, and I still stand by that. It's just my style changes over time, and I get bored. So I hope you have enjoyed this closet tour and chit-chat about bags I've sold and the ones that have made the cut. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It is the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.